Hey, what's going on guys? Today I wanna to talk about a option position that I just opened on NVIDIA. Uh, I'm you know, testing out the strategy. I just recently came across it. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, the strategy is called an iron condor. Uh, and what you can see here is a range of NVIDIA $90 through 125. So if we scroll down a little bit, um, you can see I got a credit of 32 uh, cents or you know, that's equated to $32 there. Um, my break even price, according to Robin Hood here, is $89.68 or $125.32. Um, so let's kind of go through the breakdown of it. Uh, so I purchased a 89 put and I sold a $90 put. So that's a put credit spread. You know, I sell the 90, bought the 89. Um, and then on the top side, I did a call credit spread. I sold the 125 and I purchased the 126. Uh, so pretty much how this works, I'll go back and just kind of illustrate here. So this is about a month out, October 18th. I sold the call credit spread 125, 126, and I sold the put credit spread down here a good bit at the 90 and 89 so if we illustrate this um i think i got like a 32 dollar credit but you can see uh, my max profit is the credit i receive um because i sold it and then my max loss is the difference in the spread so in this case it's a one dollar spread so my max loss is going to be right around 66 dollars uh give or take and then looking at this chart here um this trade will be profitable if nvidia stays within this range so this range is $90 to $125. Um, so it's currently trading at $112. Um, it is ripping to the upside. So unfortunately, hopefully the um, the top call spread doesn't get triggered. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a iron condor strategy. Uh, testing it out a little bit to see how it goes. Uh, just uh, understand your risk with you know options. Uh, use this video for entertainment purposes only educational purposes uh go out and uh, you know paper trade the strategy but um some rules i like to follow i never let this go to expiration uh just because of the assignment risk uh for example um if nvidia closes at say like 125.50 you know you can see that's in between my two strikes here so uh, that would be a very dangerous situation because um i would be obligated uh to um, you know, that 125 call would get exercised and then the 126 call wouldn't necessarily be in the money. Um, so either way, it would be a very risky scenario. Um, so that is why I always close my spreads. Um, pretty much this is a call credit spread and a put credit spread, but I always close my spreads before expiration. Um, typically I'd like to close a little bit before, but, um, but yeah, just because there's a lot of things that could unfold, uh, not in your favor. You know, um, my max loss does say $66, $65 here, but um, that can quickly change if one of your legs gets exercised and you're not able to exercise the other one. So uh, long story short, but always from, you know, my perspective and, you know, my recommendation is close your spreads before expiration, um, even if they're way out of the money. Uh, just because, you know, some crazy stuff can always happen in app hours. And the last thing you want to happen is one of your legs getting exercised and the other one not. Um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, let me know what you think down below. Have you ever traded this option strategy before, the Iron Condor? Uh, pretty much it has to stay within this range to be profitable. Um, I'll get the full credit um, within here. Um, I'll probably look to close it at either 50 to 75 percent of my credit so i'm not gonna get this full amount here but uh but yeah let me know what you think down below of the iron condor if you use it uh yourself and uh yeah thanks for watching